Hi everyone, I'm Ashley Riddell and welcome to another tutorial bucket tutorial. This time what we're looking at is a very popular high fashion look called the colour pop. You start off with an image that's pretty much like this, full colour, and you then isolate particular colour regions and you pop them out so that the background elements fade into black and white or into a coloured sepia or whatever colour effect you want to use, but the basic colour of the selected images pops out from the main image. Now to do this it's pretty straightforward. It all go, is going to hinge on how well you can make a selection. There are a number of tools we can use to make this process easier but I thought I'd show you a quick method for making this colour pop which is also a good technique for making a selection. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have a quick look at the channels inside of this image. Now the channels is going to show me the balance of red, green and blue and you can see some channels look very different from other channels. In particular the blue channel you'll see that the uh, bikini top has gone very dark. In the green channel and the red channel it's very light. What this means in simple terms is that the blue channel is a very good candidate for building a mask around this area to be isolated and then popped out. So how do we go about doing this? Well, here is the sneaky trick that I'm going to use. I'm going to throw in an adjustment layer over the top of this so I can accentuate that colour difference between the yellow and the skin tone, thereby making it easy to make a mask. So I'm going to put in an adjustment layer for black and white. You find the black and white feature here on uh, Adobe Photoshop CS3 and CS4. If you don't have this, you can use the channel mixer, which will do just about as good a job as well but I'll use black and white. I think this is very, very cool. Okay, now I need to really accentuate the difference between yellow and everything else. So I go up to my reds and yellows and I'm going to drag the yellows down, down, down. Look at that black. As you can also see the skin tones, you lose a lot of the highlights from the skin. Normal skin has a lot of yellow in the highlight regions. Now again, further accentuate the difference. I'm going to increase the reds, so that's going to make the black area on the bikini really pop. Just try and fine tune that as well as I can and that'll do for now. That's enough. That's about as much as I can do. Now that I've created a very clear definition between the bikini and the skin tone, it's a lot easier to build a mask. So I'll go to my channels palette and I can pick any channel at all here. It doesn't make any difference. Any one of these channels can be used. I copy it by dragging it onto my new channel icon and now that I've got this in place I'm going to invert it because after all as you can see I've got a finished version here we need white we need a white area to isolate the bikini top and the bikini bottom so I'll just invert this now you can do this with your keyboard very simple that's on the PC control I on the Mac that is command I okay so now we've got that ready now to fine-tune it we need to throw in a levels tool. Just use an image adjustments levels like so and we're going to increase the blacks. So drag over the black point, increase the whites a little bit and then drag over the midpoint and that should just about tone out all of the remaining elements that we don't really want. Now if it starts to look a little bit rough around the edges, which it may well may, just fiddle it a little bit, get it as good looking as you possibly can and then you can clean up the rest of it manually. I'm happy with that. I think that's more than good enough for this particular job. Okay, now the cleanups for this. I just need to zoom in a little bit so you can see how we go about doing a cleanup. All I'm going to do is grab plain old brush tool, black paint and very important, I'll just show you this with a right click, the hardness. Set the hardness to 100%. You don't want soft edges for this, you really want this to be hard edged. Okay, whoops, just undo there. I'll set my paint colour to white. And now I'll just quickly, because I'm in a hurry here, and I'll just get rid of as much of this as I can. Just moving around very, very quickly. And I'll need to get rid of those white spots, switch to black. Now I'm not doing a terribly fabulous job here, I've got to say, this could stand a little bit more work, but mainly this is about showing you the basic technique. 
And that said, if you have a look at the hair, yes, if you haven't seen this before, this is one of the techniques you can use for beginning a mask on creating a hair mask. So this is a technique worth knowing the basics of. I'll just get rid of this here, and there, and there. There we go, just about done. Can quite easily just throw a lasso around the whole thing if we want to and get rid of it, but I'm happy just to use the paintbrush here. Doesn't take very long. Okay, that's done. Let's have a look. Yep, this is all looking pretty good. Just get rid of a little bit of the areas in here. Now, the nice thing about this technique that we're using is we will be able to fine tune this later on, even if it's not perfect. It doesn't really matter. This is going to finish up on a layer mask, so you can always go back in and fine tune the layer mask at a later time. Okay, I'll just zoom out so I can see how good a mask I've got here. Yeah, I think that's going to be good enough for this job. Okay, now to use this mask, I just go on to the finished version and I use on the PC, control and click on the Mac, that's command and click on the thumbnail and we get a selection. Go back up to the top of your channels palette, click on the RB, RGB channel, not on the visibility icon, on the actual channel itself, that reactivates everything and then go back to layers. Okay, now that we've got this all figured out correctly, I can go onto my black and white layer, click on its existing layer mask, and I can now fill this with black so that it will show through. So I'll need to fill with black, so on the PC that is going to be Control Delete or Control Backspace. On the Mac that will be Command Backspace. Okay, so there is our show through, there is our popped colours. Just deselect. And now so that it looks something approaching re reality, shall we say, I'm just going to double click on the adjustments for the black and white layer and I'll use one of the pre-existing settings for black and white. It's got this lovely list of different black and white settings. I just might just run through these so you can see them from the blue filter, darker, all sorts of very impressive effects and you can fine-tune these yourself or you can do it all manually. The main thing to be aware of when you're working with skin tones the action is going to be happening in the reds and the yellows. The reds will control the basic skin tone, the yellows are going to control the highlights in that skin tone. You need to keep them reasonably balanced or at least reasonably close to each other otherwise you're going to start getting some rather ugly looking effects with uh, grain appearing in the image but I can set this to something reasonably dark like a blue filter and that looks just fine. So there you go, that's creating your colour pop and how to make a good selection in no time at all.